Humans are racing towards the singularity, the emergence of superpowered artificial intelligence that will far exceed the processing capacity of human beings and completely change the way we exist. As the likes of Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk both prepare us and warn us about the coming singularity, let us take a look at what remains the most powerful supercomputer on the planet, the human brain. Weighing a mere three pounds, the human brain is made up of an estimated 100 billion cells called neurons, with each of these neurons having up to 1,000 synapses or connections to other neurons. Let's compare the power of the human brain against other computer processors we have today. One of the fastest consumer computers you can currently buy, housing an Intel i9 chip, has a processing power of one teraflop, or one trillion computations every second. This is thousands of times faster than computers from just a few decades ago. But what about supercomputers? As of the end of 2017, the fastest supercomputer, the Sunway Tau Light, has a processing power of 93 petaflops, or 93 quadrillion computations every second, which is 93 followed by 15 zeros. This is three times as fast as the previous supercomputer it overtook. The human brain, however, is still far more powerful, with an estimated processing power of one exaflop, or one, followed by 18 zeros. What's even more remarkable is the efficiency of this astronomical power. While an Intel i9 chip uses 140 watts of energy, and the Sunway supercomputer uses 15 megawatts, the human brain operates on a mere 20 watts of energy. Now that is efficiency. This efficiency is achieved by the way neurons interact. A conventional computer works in binary bits, with each bit coding for a 0 or a 1. A quantum supercomputer works with qubits, which can be 0, 1, or both, providing even more processing ability. And the human brain is even more complex, with each neuron encoding several possibilities in response to a stimulus. For example, a neuron can fire, not fire, inhibit, fire in synchrony, or fire in a dynamic pattern, providing a wide variety of possible permutations. How much memory capacity does this give us? Researchers at the Salk Institute have estimated that each synapse in the brain holds 4.7 bits of memory, giving us an estimate of 1 petabyte or 1 million gigabytes. That's more than 30,000 iPhone Xs or 10 or however you want to call it. That means you could store 4.7 billion books or 3 million hours of TV recordings on your brain. To power a similar sized computer, you need a gigawatt of energy or a nuclear power plant to supply it, yet the brain functions on 20 watts of energy thanks to efficiency of biological systems using cellular energy like ATP. In fact, this memory works much like a traditional search engine does. For example, now that you've watched this video and subscribed to Dr. Stick Figure, a certain neuron or cluster of entangled neurons will activate every time you see Dr. Stick Figure, what we will call the Dr. Stick Figure neuron. The same works for your grandma, your favorite athlete, or your crush although other things might also activate in your body then. It is useful to compare the brain's functions to systems we already understand. For example, at night while you sleep, your brain acts like YouTube, replaying your day to store or remove certain memories. This allows the brain to transfer memories from being stored in the hippocampus as short-term memory to the gray matter of the outer neocortex as long-term memory. Some research has shown that studying before sleep leads to better long-term retention of information. Not only is the brain like a search engine and a video streaming service, but also acts as a GPS. The 2014 Nobel Prize for Medicine was awarded to a group of researchers for finding that different sets of neurons activated when rats were in different places, serving as a map within the brain. They call these place cells that exist in the hippocampus, which explains why patients with Alzheimer's have difficulty recognizing their surroundings. Even more intriguing is the brain's unique ability to transform photons, sound waves, and chemical information into electrical signals and neurons and encode these signals into meaningful information for the user. And the most fascinating part of the human brain is that we are just scratching the surface. Neuroscience is a thriving field and we are just beginning to understand the sophisticated supercomputer of the brain. And ironically, it is likely we will need superpowered artificial intelligence to fully understand our own brains. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with a friend who would also enjoy it and help us grow our channel. And subscribe for more videos.